right, everybody, and welcome back to another painting video. Uh, today I am painting the Epoch Heavy Carrier from Halo Fleet Battles. And so I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, we are going to start with a little Steinal Res uh, airbrush primer through the airbrush. Um, just Unlike the Covenant paint scheme that I did, um, while I do use the airbrush uh, to paint the model, I think most of these techniques you could do uh, with a brush. So this one's going to be a little bit different from the last one. All right, we'll just wait for that to dry. All right, and with the uh, primer done and dry, I'm going to do my first base coat. And I'm going to be using Vallejo German Field Gray from the Flames of War line. So I was going to base coat this with Field Gray, which is a green gray. Um, but it went bad on me, so I had to go back and sand off some bits that were almost sandy in appearance. And so I'm going to go with uh, Model Air, Vallejo Model Air Panzer Olive, which is a very, very similar color and not bad. So uh, I should have some better luck with this. I'm a little disappointed that I'm not getting my field gray, but um, I think I'll be able to desaturate the green from this as we go. So now I just need to let this dry. All right, so in order to get a highlight and to desaturate this green, uh, I've created a mix that is uh, two parts white to one part uh, Panzer Olive, and then about two parts of that mixture, or I'm sorry, two parts of uh, airbrush medium to one part of the color mix. Uh, and the reason for this is that I want it to be thin. I want to be able to use it as a um, slow, slowly building highlight mostly along the edges here. Let's see how it's also making that color go a little bit more gray. And I don't want it to go real heavy because I don't want it to be, I don't want it to lighten it up a lot.
All right, now we just let that dry. So on the uh, the official quote unquote ships, there is a flash of color, like a little stripe on all of the UNSC ships. And I kind of like that. It, it, it breaks up the surface, which would otherwise just be this giant green blob. So I am not going to do white. I'm going to use uh, Vallejo Model Air, pale blue-gray, which should work in really well. So this has been masked off with uh, some Tamiya rice paper tape. I really like that for masking fine details. It's low tack, it's very thin. Uh, it works really well, but then you want to cover the rest of the model too, and so I use just the blue tape for that. I actually normally use the blue tape for most of my masking. But when it's fine details, I use the Tamiya tape. Okay, and we can let that dry. Okay, so the next step is going to be some panel line washing. And for that, I'll be using Vallejo Model Wash Dark Gray. And you might remember that I also use this in the uh, Covenant ship as well. But I'm gonna be using it a lot more extensively here. Now, with all the panel lines on here, you might be tempted to just do a wash over the entire thing and that would not be an invalid way to do that you could do that and it would work uh, the reason I'm not doing that and the reason why I am just applying this to the panel lines directly is because an overall wash will tend to darken the entire paint job and that's not really what I want to do I really want to just focus on getting the panel lines pulled out. And you'll notice again, like on the Covenant ship, um, I'm not too concerned uh, about this being a little messy because we're gonna be able to clean that up in a little while. If you wanna be super anal retentive about this and make it all perfect, you can do that too. Um, but it's not really necessary in some areas you're just going to kind of just fill it right in because that'll make that area really stand out a little bit better but rather than force you to watch me do this whole thing I'll just flip it over and show you so this back half here I've already um, cleaned up all the excess on the front half here. I haven't. So with this, I just have a damp paper towel or a kitchen roll for those of you in the UK. And I'm using that to just wipe down the uh, high points. In a way, this is a little bit like doing a dry brush, but the idea is to take paint away and not leave paint in place. You want to be careful because the uh, this paper is a bit of an abrasive so if you do it too hard or for too long it is going to wear away your paint. Uh, your base coat paint, not just the uh, not just the black coat. So that's there. You can see the kind of before and after, before on top, and after on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this all up on my own, and then I will come back and we'll see where we are. So, uh, yeah, that's all done now. Now I went heavier and darker on the bottom than on the top. 
Uh, so this is more of an overall wash down here and less of one up here. So at this point, there's a couple of things I could do, but I think what I'm going to start with is some highlighting. And I've mixed up more of the light color that I used to kind of haze over the highlights earlier. And I'm going to use it on a brush uh, to do edge highlighting and to pick out details like uh, these little guns and other little bits that are sticking out from the surface. And again, this is just going to help break up a pretty plain, pretty plain looking ship and make it more visually interesting. So how much of this you do is really up to you. You could kind of noodle with this all day and go with different uh, different shades and and really just go to town with it. Me, I'm going to stick with this one color, and I'm going to do it just enough to break up the surface and make it a little bit more interesting, and then I'm going to call it a day. Out, out. Okay, I will be back. All right, so uh, what I wanna do next here is I'm gonna start painting in these windows. As you can see, I've already started doing here. And what I'm using to do that is War Colors Olive One, which is a very bright yellow with a bit of a, uh, an olive tint to it. And I am just thinning it down a bit with water so that it'll wash down into those tiny recesses and there's a bunch of them and they're very small and you don't want very much paint on your brush when you do this because you want enough so it's just going to fall into that um, into the recess and fill it And if there's a little excess, that's okay. Um, because that'll just, it'll tend to uh, 
shrink down into the window, but any excess left will leave a little bit of a halo that acts, uh, acts like a, uh, a glow effect. So that's okay, as long as it's not like all over the place. You can even add some, even though that's not here, but you can put some dots into this conning tower to give it some light. It does actually have some windows. So I'm just going to go through and find them all. And when I'm done, it'll look a little bit like that. There's some more of them on the underside. I noticed on the uh, sort of official studio ones, they even kind of added their own little window spots on the upper plate uh, there as well. I'm not going to do that. But what you could do, were you so inclined, would be to take some some grays and mix it with your green and create some alternate colors of deck plating. Nope, that's too much. You don't want it to run into those panel lines. But you can just pick out some individual panels to represent uh, maybe damage that uh, necessitated the replacement of of these panels that either didn't get painted the right color or maybe just primer. But it's a really good way of breaking up that surface green and providing more visual interest. And you know, this is kind of an effect that you see on like uh, Star Wars ships. Um, and you can go with several different colors. or rusts or something um, but that's going to break up that that surface some more and again provide more more visual interest and I'm going to do some more windows and then I'll be back so while I was working on the windows I also went ahead and added some blue uh, accents in some of the recesses here and on top here and a couple other places oh, in here um, just to break it up even more and add a little bit more color to it. Now I'm going to also use this color uh, as the first engine color and so this is really going to be the glow color and the darkest color on it so let's see if we can make this happen
Sorry, I had to pull that out of frame in order to get it all. And the camera is too close to really let you focus in on that, I think. But uh, I'll be right back and we'll get the second color in there. So my next lighter color is blue one from War Colors. And I moved the camera back a little bit so maybe you can see a little bit better what's going on. I really love the detail in those engines. I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty nice. All right. And I think for the last step, I'm just going to wash a little white right into the center. All right, we're gonna let that dry. So that's about done it. Uh, at this point, I'm just gonna go put a little matte coat on this and call it done. So uh, I'm gonna go take some pictures of it and I'll have those uh, right at the end of the video. So you can see what it looks like in all its glory. But I'm pretty happy with it. I think it turned out pr uh, pretty well. 
and uh, even though this wasn't the color I had originally intended, uh, the final result is what I originally intended, so that's kind of nice. So thanks again for watching. Uh, thank you for all of my Patreon supporters, without whom uh, I would not have nearly the impetus to continue doing these videos that I do now. Uh, and for everybody else, if you like this video, please click like on the video. And if you want to make sure that you see more of my videos in the future, hit subscribe. And that's going to do it. And I will talk to you all later.